gentlemen of the press, uh, distinguished leaders of various organizations across the 19 northern states, and by extension, some other part of uh, Nigeria that graced this occasion, I want to humbly and most sincerely thank you for having time to be, to be here. Like you are aware, uh, the purpose of this gathering today is all about the challenges that Northern Nigeria has been having, most especially in the recent past. We will be talking from the hashtag NSAS period to the Shasha Akinyele market killings of Northerners, to that of uh, southeastern part of Nigeria that uh, a lot of our people, Northern, Northerners of different tribes, Fulanese and the likes, were killed and a lot of properties destroyed. You will recall that about three, four months ago, uh, the Northern Consensus Movement, along with all this team, had a press conference where we called for a no food supply protest from the north to the other part of Nigeria. During that protest, uh, within three, day, three, four days, we were called by the presidency under the presidency delegated Governor Hayabello of Kogi State to speak with us with a promise that um, uh, whatever loss that was incurred by entire northerners will be looked at and a compensation be considered. Uh, under the leadership of uh, Governor Yahyabello as uh, given the responsibility or mandate by the President and Commander in Chief Muhammad Buhari, uh, we met for three days, after which we went, he led us to the villa, uh, that is the presidential villa where we met with the Chief of Staff to the President and about seven sp senior special advisors and assistants to the President to discuss the modal modalities of the withdrawal of that protest and also for the payment of compensation to those that lost lives, property, and means of their livelihood. Uh, you will also recall that the Northern Consensus Movement presented of, uh, a demand of 47.5 billion, which we assume would be what will take care of the losses incurred by Northerners, entire Northerners. And then um, after thorough discussion, uh, the presidency reduced it to a certain uh, percentage, which the body accepted. Uh, but uh, up till now, we've not uh, uh, accessed it possibly because of one reason or the other. Uh, that is not for the media to consume. But um, generally, we are using this medium to further reiterate our position that first, the North is a block. Whether you are a Hausa man, you are a Fulani man, you are Tiv, you are Birom, you are Kanuri, whatever tribe you belong to, for as long as you are a northerner, we are one and, and the same. And whatever touches any northerner, touch all of us. So whosoever try to, by whatever means, to either maim, destroy the life or property of any northerner, we will ensure that uh, we fight to our best, but then we will do it within the legal framework of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended 1999. Today, we are here to commission various committees that will work towards first and the most important one, uniting the North and Northerners. You are aware that apart from the security, we are the electorate, we will decide who become the next Nigeria's president. As uh, 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 politicians, they are just one percent out of the total number of northerners. So we cannot just see, sit and fold our arms and watch few decide for us how our future is going to be. We are to tell them what we think is the best for the north and how our future should be. So we are saying, sending this to our political leaders, not to begin to assume that they can decide or um, twist us into taking uh, anything short of that our balance of four years. Then after that, we can come to a round table and discuss, okay, if it is rotation, let's begin to discuss rotation and see which region will now begin to take the first shot of the rotation and then that. We don't have problem, but we still believe leadership uh, should be based on credibility, leadership should be based on patriotism, leadership should be based on competence, 
leadership should be based on nationalistic uh, thinking and leadership should be based on ability to galvanize the country as one and together, not someone that will be one-sided, not sentimental leadership, not family leadership, not political aggrandizement, not political I'm twisting. Like I said, we will not take it. And this is the position uh, of the masses of Northern Nigeria. Today, uh, the Northern Consensus Movement have about 115 certificated, when I say certificated, uh, registered with Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria. Before now, we are having about 75, but having seen how the Northern uh, Consensus Movement is moving, a lot of other organizations have aligned themselves with us, and by the grace of God, we will continue to grow until we get to whatever destination that God has decided for us. We are not, we are not by any way power hungry. We will, among the politicians, decide who become our leaders. And we will do that humbly and respectfully. Thank you very much uh, for having time to be here. And I pray that uh, we will have a, uh, a deliberation that would be in the best interest of our people, in, be in the best interest of the North, will be in the best interest of Nigeria. Thank you very much.